Hey guys, Rob from Expedition Team Overland here with the 2023 Holiday Buying Guide. So as I do every year, just come up with a list of my top 10 things that I think that every overlander wants, needs, or just likes to have. Um, these are in no order. I'm trying to keep the prices around under $300. Um, and some of the stuff uh, is a little bit on the generic side because I think when it comes to building uh, someone's overland uh, vehicle, what works for me might not work for someone else. And they just it, want to keep it a little bit more generic. Uh, so I'm not going to sp uh, pick specific items uh, uh, when it comes to some stuff. Um, but just a general idea. So uh, the first thing I've come up with is recovery boards. These are really great. Uh, they can get expensive. I have Max Tracks. Um, I want to have uh, good quality products. I know people have gone out and bought the Amazon stuff and they work. Sometimes they don't work. Um, but the, uh, the Max Tracks or recovery boards are great for uh, different types of situations, especially if you don't have a winch. If you don't have a winch uh, and you get stuck like we did on Storm Mountain up in Colorado, we didn't have Max Tracks. We were stacking rocks. We got another guy came out and gave us some, some more ideas before he uh, before he was going to get his winch out. But we were both stack rocks in a different direction. But just a way to get uh, make a make a ramp type uh, apparatus for you to get out. Also works in snow. I actually originally bought mine because in front of our house, uh, the city doesn't plow about a hundred feet of road. Uh, just kind of this uh, no man's land of the road. So if uh, me or my wife trying to get to work, uh, got stuck on that road, we can run to the garage, grab the max tracks, throw them under the tires, get some, uh, get a running start and get, get on our way to work. Works in mud, sand, snow, works in almost every application. The backside of them have a, um, a kind of like a shovel. So if you don't have a shovel with you or you don't want to get your shovel out, you can, you know, rudimentarily move the sand or uh, snow out of the way. So the number, the second thing I got here is Midland radios. Now Midland has been uh, a great sponsor of the, sh of the show for many years. Uh, they make, I think they make the best uh, GMRS radios out there. They have purely FRS radios, GMRS, FRS handheld radios. Both these are handhelds. Then they have your micro mobiles, which are in various wattages. So um, my recommendation for, uh, for a gift would just be a G, an FRS, GMRS or a handheld radio. Something that you can just throw in the vehicle, um, use them for spotting. That's what I mostly use them for. We use them around camp with our daughter. She loves to talk on the radios and uh, go out and explore a little bit. But, um, and then if you don't wanna have a dedicated radio in your vehicle that's hardwired with an antenna, you can just talk, uh, vehicle to vehicle like this. The handheld radios don't get the greatest range. They get significantly better range than a CB, but um, you, for working in a convoy of, you know, five or so vehicles spanned over a hundred yards, perfect, perfect situation. The uh, vehicle mounted systems, the 40, the 50, and the 25 watt systems are fantastic systems. I have them. I've had them in all of our vehicles and all my overland vehicles. They work great. You can talk obviously further with a bigger antenna, but that is, like I said, some of the stuff, some of my, uh, when we did uh, the 2020 expeditions, D wanted the smaller, more concealable 25 watt radio where I wanted the 50 watt radio. So it's, it, cause it's more concealability and stuff like that. So I think the vehicle mounted micro mobiles are um, more of if you know exactly what your overlander wants, but I think the handheld radios are fantastic. They got great accessories. I actually use a handheld mic, plug it in. I leave the radio on my belt, put the um, handheld mic on my shoulder, and I can just talk into it. I don't need to pull it up. It just it works better for me, but personal preferences. Um, next is uh, more of a generic. It's just a basic gift certificate. So you could give your overlander however many amount of dollars you want. If it's a secret Santa type of deal or a work colleague or something like that. Um, a lot of uh, companies are doing the gift certificates now. Asheville Vehicle Outfitters, Blue Ridge Overland Go, fantastic company, quality, quality products. I've had their products for over 10 years. The seams don't rip. The, the stitching is perfect. Everything's great. They're, they're more on the pricey side, but it's a more of an intimate product. What I want for a map case is something that someone might not have carry 
paper maps. Uh, first aid kit, they have three, four different options on first aid kits. So uh, maybe in this grant, a gift certificate would be perfect for them. Um, Quarter Tech is one of the big ones. Uh, OK Four Wheel Drive, just one of the great big shops in your uh, in your area. I like to uh, support the local people. So, uh, like I said, Asheville Vehicle, Asheville Vehicle Outfitters, Blue Ridge Overland Gear, Quarter Tech, uh, OK Four Wheel Drive. Um, and any other small company that might have it that you, uh, that you see if you're, if someone wants a bumper or, uh, some type of fabrication, uh, they, uh, those websites probably have gift certificates as well. So, uh, next is, uh, we're going to do a first aid kit. Uh, this is a must, I think in every vehicle, uh, in all applications, it's a perfect way. You can go as big as you want. You can go on Amazon and buy a full EMT kit. Or you can buy one that just fits in the back of a pocket. When when we go to uh, uh, theme parks or stuff like that, I also have a small one with band aids. I don't need, I don't need you know a splint. I don't need uh, fire uh, you know burn kits and stuff like that. Just basic band aids for cuts and scrapes. But when I go on overland trips, I got a tourniquet. I got gauze. I I got a whole. I have a videos on all what I have for my first aid kits. But just a generic first aid kit. There's a bunch of bunch of companies out there. My medic, Overland medic, uh, that they all have a bunch of first aid kits. So you can you can kind of tailor to what you think your Overlander wants. Next is a headlamp. Uh, these are great for around camp. Um, carrying a flashlight, obviously you have more power. And you need to see further. But if you're just cooking or working on a fire, working something else, you have you, both your hands are free. Uh, headlamp just illuminates what you're looking at. And it's a great way. There's a bunch of companies out there. Eddie Bauer has them. Princeton, Princeton Tech. Almost everyone has a headlamp. They're really great. Only thing I would recommend, and uh, this goes into more of after the gift, is remove the batteries. There, the batteries can leak, especially if you don't use it on a on a fairly regular basis. And store it on your headrest. Uh, when I get when I go on trips, I'll throw uh, two or three headlamps on uh, the passenger headlamps. Uh, so then I can just grab it and go. I'm not fiddling with a bag because what's the worst thing you can get to camp at night? And now you got to find a light to use for a light. So uh, keep them nice and handy. Now, next is uh, a couple of recovery gear options. I think um, I have been uh, sponsored by Bubba Rope. So I think a Bubba Rope is a kinetic rope. It's a different form of uh, recovery. It's a, a, a kind of an elastic band or rubber band type effect is uh, you have to stretch it. It builds up its energy in the stretch, and then, then it gives you uh, a, a pulling effect of it versus just a, a tow rope. Um, one of these comp oh, There's a bunch of these kinetic ropes out there. I live by the premise of buy once, cry once, and I think bubble rope is a great option out there. Uh, going back to kind of the max tracks, let's talk about shovels. So uh, I think a shovel is also a great idea. You can go down to your local hardware store, just get a spade shovel. Works great. Uh, there's also some other crazy beaver. It's a spade shovel with uh, serrated edges, so it can chop through roots. And the Demos shovel uh, works really good in snow. Those are just some uh, some options that I think uh, are good. A shovel is something really, you really need when you're working in a recovery situation, going to the bathroom. Um, and uh, making a fire pit. If you're on the beach, you need to uh, dig out to get your max tracks in. Uh, a shovel is a good thing. You also just get your basic uh, US Army shovel that uh, collapses up. You put in a backpack and it folds up really well. And the last two items I have here is, uh, this is a little bit more in the intimate section, but I think every Jeeper, uh, including the Broncos, they uh, a, ta a fold out tailgate table. When I got my first table in, I think it was like 2016, it was an absolute game changer. Uh, they are expensive. They're about 300 bars. I recommend the GP Factor. I've had three tables um, on my Jeeps. The GP Factor is by far the best. The handles uh, are just better quality. The first one I had was a cheap one. It rattled, made a lot of noise. Actually, uh, it used little plastic uh, nutsert things that went into the vents on the back of the tailgate on my JKU. Those bent the tailgate vents and it fell out, uh, ended up nutserting it in. Next one I had had really good nutserts um, and, uh, or uh, plastic uh, nutserts that went into the vents that held a little bit better. But by far, the GP Factor uh, fold out table is by far the best. Um, so a tailgate table works great for 
if you're just making a quick lunch, open up your tailgate, drop table, boom, you're done. You can start making your lunch, uh, working on dinner at camp. Once you have camp established, it's another work surface. Usually your refrigerator is going to be in the back of your Jeep or your, or your overland vehicle right there. You can be cutting your vegetables, cutting your meat. Uh, you don't have to move far. You can put your scottle, your stove uh, on the other side of it, and you have a full 180-degree work surface uh, that works out really well. Last thing on my list is a bottle jack. Um, this is something that uh, I think is the absolute safest way out there. The factory scissor jacks that come on the Jeeps work great in a stock application. Uh, AEV and a couple other companies make the, uh, the brackets, uh, little stands that uh, spread the weight and you can put the jack on there, but they only list a couple inches. And the scissor jack can fail. Uh, a farm jack, a high lift jack, very, very good. Works really good, but it can be incredibly dangerous. It can slip, it can fall, uh, it can slide out. It's carrying a lot of weight. Um, I, I've always carried a, um, a high lift with me. Uh, luckily, I never had to use it, but it was the last tool in the toolbox if I had to use. But a bottle jack, by far, I think is the safest. The way it, uh, it raises up inside each other, it's compact and holds a lot more weight. So a bottle jack uh, by Safe Jack, I think is a really, really great option. They have a ton of options uh, that you can buy for various weights of vehicles and the amount of accessories you wanna buy for it. So um, that is the, my top 10 list of the 2023 Holiday Buying Guide. Hope you have a good one. Merry Christmas, happy holidays.